I'm Cam Lynch and I'm the Learning Area Leader of the Health, Phys Ed and Outdoor Education Department at Hobart College. We are a large department delivering a broad range of tasks and vet courses in health, physical and outdoor education. Our staff are passionate and experienced and our programs and facilities reflect modern industry standards and best practice. If you're looking for fun, engagement, adventure, mindfulness, well-being and challenge, we have a course for you. Our lunchtime sport and fitness program caters for all students. We provide supervised activities ranging from indoor rock climbing, strength and conditioning, table tennis and a range of team sports every lunchtime. G'day everyone, I'm Joey Cotton, I'm part of the HPOE team here at Hobart College. I teach outdoor leadership, outdoor education and sport and recreation experiences, which is a good subject for those students that want a bit of release from their academic side of things. You get to come down to the gym and go out in the community and do some community-based sports, uh, such as squash or indoor cricket. We do a bit of 10 pin bowling, we do a bit of golf, a little bit of surfing, a little bit of bushwalking. You guys that love sport, love getting your heart rate up a bit, running around, love spending time with other people and, and playing in teams, sport and rec would be a good choice for you. Got a little bit of a theory component, but other than that, we are generally doing cracks in the community or here at school. Hopefully I'll see you next year. Cheers. Hello everyone, my name's Vincent van der Voos and what a campus we've got to provide outdoor education. We've got 65 hectares of bushland around us and we use that for the teaching of mountain biking, orienteering, camp skills and more. Outdoor education consists of what we do here and with our excursions we've got the opportunity to go a bit further afield. Kanunyi behind me, that's an area that we love getting up to for bushwalking, rock climbing, camp skills. Skills. We've also got South Arm, which is a popular place to surf and to snorkel. And the Derwent, of course, only a moment away where we kayak and we can do coastal traversing. More to outdoor education though, than simply participating, we do have the assessment tasks. Typically looking into the different ways that we can set up pulley systems in climbing or abseiling, or working on a plan for a multi-day bushwalk. So make it part of year 11, or 12, getting out and enjoying the wonderful natural environment, but it's also a chance to build lifelong friends. Hello, my name's Anna. I teach athlete development and personal health and wellbeing here at Hobart College, both are level two subjects. With athlete development, we really require you to be in a sport, a recognised sport, and to really love to train. We have three lessons a week and two out of the three are actually training. So you'll be doing specialist and technical training for your sport. You'll be doing um, some physical preparation and um, performance management of that sport and then we've got some theory components um, as well for the third lesson and we do a lot of practical in that as well so we do some labs and some experiments um, so we're not just sitting but you really need to be motivated to train. With personal health and well-being um, that's a subject where you just if you have an interest in your own personal health and well-being your interest in personal fitness we look at diet and nutrition risk taking personal care and personal identity that has theory and prac as well and um, we'll be moving sort of throughout the different units by going on excursions, doing some research, interviewing people, sitting in the classroom and by um, doing practicals as well. So the personal health and wellbeing subject is a really good entry level subject into Health Studies 3 if you're unsure about jumping into that first year. Hi, I'm Glenn. I'm one of the phys ed teachers here at Hobart College. Sports Science 2 is a foundation subject which really is for students who think they may not be quite ready for Sports Science 3 and they don't want all the stress and homework that goes with a pre-tertiary subject. So there are no exams, there's a little bit of homework, there is a major study, however it's a great subject for people who want to find out about the sport and recreation industry and want that background knowledge of all the psychology, the physiology and coaching principles that underpin successful sports performance. I'm Joe Goldfinch. I am lucky enough to be the sports science teacher and the expedition outdoor education teacher. Expedition is a great subject for motivated students who are organised and want to go on camps. We go on surfing camp, climbing camp, bushwalking camps. It's a really good way to get to know your fellow students and I absolutely love it. You have to be free on weekends to commit to the expedition class. You need to be able to take time off work or off your sporting commitment. Sports science is a pre-tertiary subject. It's quite hard and academic. There's a three hour exam at the end of the year. You have to be passionate about sport and probably going to university to become a PE teacher, physiotherapist, exercise physiologist. It's usually best to be done as a year 12 subject because it's 
quite intense and content driven. Hi everyone, I'm Sue. Hi everyone, I'm Anna. And we'd like to talk to you today about Health Studies 3 and Food and Nutrition 3. Health Studies 3 will complement almost any career pathway. It's a level 3 course, which means it's a pre-tertiary subject and quite a big workload, but lots and lots of fun. We both love teaching Health Studies and there are three main units. The first one is personal health. We do a lot about teenage risk taking. We like to take our classes to a fake falls festival in about April at Hobart College. Australian health is another topic that we look at. So is everyone in Australia healthy? And how can Australians be healthier? So we look at different conditions and illnesses. We look at prevention, cure and treatment. The last unit is global health and we look at some of the wonderful strategies that are in place to help deal with those conditions. Food and Nutrition Level 3 is another fantastic subject. There are four main units of work. There's the nutrition section of the course and that's about the ins and outs of different nutrients that you find in food. Diet analysis, so what makes a good diet? How can diets be improved? You then look at food sociology, so why people choose to eat the foods that they do. and then we have a section on global food issues. Outdoor Leadership 3 is a pre-tertiary outdoor education course. It's best suited to students who have a passion for the outdoors and adventure-based activity. Outdoor Leadership students will have outdoor experience through participating in outdoor education in high school or through our Outdoor Education 2 program here at Hobart College. Most Outdoor Leadership students are in Year 12 and have participated in Outdoor Education 2 and a pre-tertiary English course. Outdoor Leadership 3 also provides the TCE literacy tick. The course is a balance of theory and practical. Units of study include planning for adventure activities, understanding contemporary theories of leadership, group management, ecological sustainability and human nature relationships. Each student is required to plan and lead an activity for their major project during the course. Outdoor leadership is externally assessed with a mid-year assessment and end of year exam. The exam format consists of four sections. Two sections are essay responses and two sections are short answer questions. With this in mind, students with high level literacy and experience in the outdoors perform well in outdoor leadership. Hi everyone, my name's Tiffany. I teach the Certificate 2 in Salon Assistant course here at Hobart College. This course is excellent if you would like to pursue a pathway through to the hair and beauty industry. There's many units that we do. A few of them are braiding, colour application, shampooing, head, neck and shoulder massage and also financial transactions and selling products to your customers. If you complete this course, it's an excellent pathway into the Fast Track Certificate 3 in hairdressing at TAS TAFE or alternatively to get an apprenticeship in a salon. I will help to guide you through to work placement in a suitable salon and also guide you through the process of your career pathway. So great opportunities to be had. Now for Certificate 2 in Outdoor Recreation. This is a, a national course, it's a VET course, which allows you to take what you achieve through the four core units, seven electives, and take it into further training at institutions like TAS TAFE. It's for those students who would like to go a bit further, a bit beyond being a participant. It's more about being able to assist, being able to share that passion with others. So if you're keen on getting into adventure tourism, eco-tourism, do undertake a VET course. It's your way to get into the industry. You have to be organised and you have to enjoy being able to get out on a weekly basis and undertake this wide range of exciting challenge activities. So looking forward to you joining us next year. Both these courses are absolute rippers. Vet Sport and Rec is a subject for students that are keen on finding out about what it's like to work in the industry and about sports administration. About 60% of the course is practical. There's little or no homework if you keep up with your work. You will expect to work both on and off the job and you'll be also required to organise whole school events like our college lap and you'll be involved in helping schools organise their carnivals and other really exciting things like the Red Bank Mud Run and other cool stuff like that. So if you'd like to know more about these subjects or any of our other HPOE subjects, come and talk to me or one of the other friendly phys ed staff at Hobart College. Looking forward to catching you next year. See you next year. See you next year. <laughs>